Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Soundboard Mod Showcase. And this one's featuring the 9780i Bushmaster by KI5. We finally got a new military vehicle, and I'm excited to show you guys and also check it out. So, let's go! Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. As you can see, there's a couple of spare tires that are available to you. Moving on to the back side of the vehicle, there's no trunk here. However, there is a roof storage available to you at a maximum capacity of 90. The door that you see there, that is the way you get in the vehicle. And for storage on the left side of the vehicle, we have a maximum storage capacity of 50. Nice little animation on the lid there. And on the right side of the vehicle, there's more storage available. And the maximum capacity on this one is 75. There's also one right smack next to it. There we go. At a maximum capacity of 35. Tons of storage on this base. I love it. And under the hood. Yes, the hood is still in the same place as every other hood would be. And here is the information inside. If you wish to pause your screen and take a look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And moving inside of the vehicle, like I said before, the entrance is in the back. A nice little animation on the entry there. And here are your options here as follows. We're going to go ahead and start with the horn. Pretty much standard horn, moving on. And moving on to the headlights, boys. Here we go, set, go. Boom, 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 boom. Frickin' sweet, dude. And there's a special bonus feature to this vehicle. If we go ahead and choose our seat, we jump to the 11 seat, and then we go ahead and open up the window, and bam, dudes. Oh, yeah. We can shoot right out the top. Look at that. Oh, yeah, freaking sweet, dude. Come at me, boys. And that there is the 9780i Bushmaster. What do you guys think? I love it already. And if you thought we were done yet, boys, nope, we are not done yet. This is the ambulance version of the Bushmaster. Front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And that there is the 9780i Bushmaster ambulance version. Everything else is pretty much the same as the last one, so I'm not going to bore you with that, guys. And again, just like most KI5's models, there's a ton of parts for this thing. I laid out some of the parts that are available to you. However, there is much more than that. All right, boys, you know what comes next. I'm excited to get into this thing check it out. So let's hop in the front seat. Let's put these buns in the seat and get this thing started. Here we go, boys. Oh yeah, let's go. There are some extra details that I want to point out to you guys, and that is the side storages can be removed and or replaced with other items. They can also carry a generator or a spare tire as well. The roof rack can hold additional storage and a spare tire, so that's pretty cool. There are a ton of texture variations with this vehicle, so if you find one you don't like, well, just keep searching. You'll find the one you do like. And since this vehicle already has protection on it, it's already fully armored, so you don't have to worry about pieces for that. So you get armor protection for the engine, the windows, and more. Tons of stuff. Tons of armor. And this vehicle also features the run-flat tires. What that means is if it gets too low on tire pressure, it will automatically blow them up. Pretty cool. And the additional feature of the hatch, which you can climb out of and shoot zombies in the face with. I did have an issue. The only issue I had was that you can shoot out of the left side of it. You can't shoot the right side of the vehicle. Only the left side. And this could be due to limitations with the game and not the modder's fault, so that could be a thing. And as far as driving this thing, I have absolutely no complaints about this vehicle. I think it drives extremely smooth. The handbrakes are good. The brakes are good. The gas is good. The speed is very good with me because I suck at driving. And if you suck at driving like I do, I definitely recommend this vehicle because it's so smooth on driving. And for the crash test, uh, this thing is a tank, dude. It can blow through zombies. It can blow through the crash test that I did, and the thing is barely a scratch. I think the only thing I had was a spider web on my windshield. That's about it. Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zodboy Mod Showcase. And this one's featuring the 83 AM General M923. Another beauty by KI5, and I can't wait to show you guys what it has to offer, so let's go! Starting with the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. And unlike most mods, you do have to access the hood by the side. So let's go and open it here. There is an animation on the hood. Looks freaking sweet. And lying under the hood, there are these options that are available to you. Quite a bit to look at. Go and pause the screen if you wish to do so. And onto the back of the vehicle, there is a nice little animation for the back there. And a storage capacity of 500. It's freaking awesome, dude. And getting inside of the vehicle, there is a nice little animation with the door there. And inside of the vehicle, here are your options here. We're going to start with the horn. Pretty standard horn, we're gonna move on. Here's the headlights, boom, 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 boom. Frickin' sweet, dude. And just like most KFI vehicles, there are a wide variety of textures for you. Not to mention the parts, there's several parts you can take off of this thing, it's freaking awesome. And here are some of the parts laying on the floor for you guys. Tons of customization for you, you can find these in the world. Moving on. And if you're wondering if you can fire this gun here in the middle, nope, that's just there to look sick. Frickin' sweet though, I love it. Switching seats in this vehicle is pretty cool. You can actually move to a seat and you will see it visually happen, which is awesome because the uh, interior is completely visible, which is frickin' sweet. And that there is the 83 AM General M923. What do you guys think? I think it looks frickin' sweet. You tell me in the comments. And now, it's time for the test drive. Let's do it, boys. Here we go. Let's fire this thing up. Oh yeah, let's go for it. Oh yeah, and before we get out there, listen to this. Oh yeah, what more could you ask for? 
And a little bit more information on this vehicle, you can find spare parts in the world. You can also get a uh, nice spare tire for the vehicle. You can equip armor plates on the windows and the bumpers, which is pretty cool. And if the tires run flat, well, they still work. However, they'll be reduced in friction. So yeah, keep that in mind. Oh yeah. All right, so after driving this thing for a bit, I do like how it drives. It drives pretty much how you would think it would. It is a truck, so yeah, if you like driving trucks, this is for you. This is a great mod. Uh, turning is pretty good. You do have to take uh, pretty long turns if you want to make it successful. And I'm terrible at driving, so I ran into a bunch of stuff. But yeah, anyway. Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. It's been a while since we had a military vehicle, so I figured we should check out one that I missed. And that is the Oshkosh 86 P19A by KI5. Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And moving on to the side of the vehicle, there's no trunk on the back of this vehicle. However, there is a side compartment on each side of this vehicle with a top compartment of 100 maximum capacity with additional compartments of 30. Now there's two on this side and then there's three on the other side. It's freaking sweet, dude. And under the hood, it is on the rear right of this vehicle. You can go ahead and pause your screen and look at this stuff. There's plenty to look at in here. And moving inside of the vehicle, here are all the options here for you. And nice little animation on the door as well as the hood. And we're going to go ahead and start with the horn. Pretty much standard horn. We're going to move on to the headlights. Here we go, boys. Ready, set, go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I love this thing, dude. There is a light bar on this thing. I did check it. There is no lights on this thing whatsoever. So I don't know why there's a light bar, but there is a light bar. Just kind of ignore it because it doesn't do anything. And one additional feature to this vehicle of the USMC, there is a fourth seat that you can actually jump into. And then if you want to escape the seat, you just hit the E key and then you're all the way in the back of the vehicle. It's freaking sweet. There's a hatch that you climb out of. Um, you just don't see that, but it's there. And that there is the fortress model of the USMC. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And here we are with the standard USMC. Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And under the hood, everything else is pretty much the same as the last vehicle. However, you wish to pause your screen and take a look at the details inside of this thing, go ahead and do so. One big difference with this vehicle, I noticed the light bar actually works on this one. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Yelp, the whale, the alarm, all pretty much standard. We're going to move on to the lights. Here we go, boys. Stage one, stage two, and stage three. It's freaking sweet, dude. And that there is a standard version of the USMC. We got one more to check out. Let's do it, boys. And here is the fire version of the USMC, starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And under the hood, here's all the details inside of this machine. If you wish to go ahead and pause your screen and take a look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And again, everything else is pretty much the same. However, the light bar is even more in depth on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Yelp, the whale, the alarm, and then we're going to go on to standby and hit the stage one. And stage two. And then stage three. Oh, I freaking love it, dude. And that there is the fire version of the USMC. Well, if you thought we just got vehicles in this mod, you're wrong. Because we got trailers too, boys. Check them out. I'm going to do some maximum capacities on these boys too. Starting with this one here, there is a max capacity of 250. Onto this boy here, he's 500 maximum capacity. Over here, we have a 350 capacity. And last but not least, we got a 700 maximum capacity on this bad boy. Frickin' sweet, dude. All right, boys, you know what comes next. We're gonna hop into this beast. I already got the lights blaring. We're gonna start this baby up. Oh yeah, let's go. Here we go, boys. Now to cover some extra details on this mod. There are extra parts for these vehicles. You can find them in the world. The USMC standard version and the Fortress version have the third and fourth seat. The fourth seat gets you to the hatch, the third and the fourth seat are protected by zombies, they can't reach them, so it's a perfect spot to take a nap. And if you don't have the armor yet, it's a perfect spot to hide. These vehicles also include the run flat tires as well as the trailers, so that's a bonus. What the run flat tires do is they protect from going completely flat. So basically there will be less friction, so you can expect some extra slide, but no flat. And as far as driving on this vehicle, I do suggest you to use the regular brakes, not so much the handbrake. There is no slide whatsoever, so don't expect that to happen when you're going fast. However, this vehicle does not go fast, which is also a good thing because I'm terrible at driving. So it makes a good round vehicle for making a nice smooth travel. However, there is some extra spare tires. So you do get spare tires on these. There are two tires. So Jesus, dude, you get a flat, you got, you're pretty much covered. And I did do the crash test on this vehicle. I did not have one issue with crashing this vehicle and slaughtering zombies. So yeah, great test on that. No issues there. Expect a beautiful car after you smash everything. Frickin' sweet. Hello, dragons. 
And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase, and this one's featuring the 78AM General 35A2 by KI5, which is one of my favorite modders because he puts so much detail into his work. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to check it out. So let's go. And here we have the front view, the back view, and the side view for you guys. And under the hood, there's a nice little animation. If you want to go and pause the screen, take a look at the stuff, go right ahead and do so. And in the back of the vehicle, another nice little animation, and the maximum capacity is 655 on this base. Frickin' sweet, dude. And inside of the vehicle, here are your options as follows. Let's go and test the horn. Sounds pretty much standard. Let's move on to the headlights. Boom, 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 boom. Frickin' sweet, dude. And everything else is pretty much the same. That there is the 78 AM General M35A2. Now there's a couple other varieties that might spawn in on you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show those guys to you. Alright, here's one of the possibilities that might spawn in on you guys. And last but not least, this is the other variety that might spawn in on you guys. I like this one the best, what do you guys think? And if you get something that looks like this, hey, don't worry about it, because you can install anything you want on this vehicle. It's completely modular. Here's some of the pieces I lied on the floor for you. They are 3D, which is freaking sweet. And yeah, customize this thing as you like. Now onto the test drive. Alright, here we go, boys. Nice little animation on the door. Let's go ahead and start this baby up. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, so driving this thing, it's kind of slow a little bit. It's not too bad. I think I like it because I suck at driving in this game, so it doesn't matter to me. Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. And this one's featuring the M1A1 Abrams. Another tank we get to check out, and I'm freaking excited. So, let's go! Here we are, boys, the M1A1 Abrams. I had to zoom out quite a bit because it's freaking huge, but here we are with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. Moving on to the trunk of the vehicle, you notice that I'm not in the back of the vehicle. I'm actually on the side. You can access this from the right or the left side. The trunk capacity is a maximum of 100. And under, under the hood, make note of my location. That's the only way you can access it. Here's the information here. It's kind of small, but go ahead and pause the screen if you wish to do so. Now to access inside of the vehicle, you want to do it from the front highlighted area. Go ahead and hit the E key and boom, we're smack into the vehicle. Now we're going to go ahead and do the options here. We have the headlights. We have no horns. So we're just going to start with the headlights. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Freaking sweet. I don't know where they're at, but I know they're on. So yeah, awesome. And that there is a look at the M1A1 Abrams. I'm not going to do a test drive. I'm going to actually show you how to operate this vehicle. Let's get to it. All right, for driving this thing, just be careful when you take your turns. You're going to use the WASD key. Just take slow turns because this is a tank. It drives like a freaking tank. It drives more like a tank than the last tank I showed you. But yeah, just be careful. Take caution and you'll get the hang of it. No problem. And if you just want to spin the tank, just hold down the D key or the A key, whatever direction you're going in. Once you do that, just slowly tap that W key and there you go. You'll spin the tank quite easy. Freaking awesome, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, it's time for the sweet stuff. Let's get into the gun and start firing. To do that, go ahead and start with the seats here. Go ahead and switch into the fourth spot. That's the loader. Once we're in the loading seat, you can hear that, whatever that was. And then we're going to go ahead and jump one of these dudes into the nice, whatever this is, the gun breach. All right. Once it gets into the gun breach, we're, we're locked and loaded. It's taking forever. There we go. All right. So once it's in there, we're locked and loaded. We're ready. We're going to go ahead and switch to the gunner spot. As you see here, number two. Boom, plunk the butt right in the seat. And once we're in the seat, we now have access to the guns, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and blow up this van over here. If I can see the target, where am I shooting at? Oh, I see it. All right, there we go. We're going to go ahead and blow up this, this thing. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if I did anything because I don't see anything happening. But I'm pretty sure if that was a zombie, it'd be dead. Oh, yeah, look at them all. Oh, yeah, they're coming. All right, let's load up again. We got to switch our butts. Get back in the loader. Let's load this thing up. We're going to die before we even shoot them. All right, load that thing up. Let's switch our butt again. Back over to three or four, I mean. Once we're in four, we should be good to go. All right, once we're in four, we're in four now. Let's load them up. Boom. Get up off me. Okay, we can't. All right, let's get in a better spot. Let's switch to one. We'll knock them up. Oh, yeah, this tank is awesome, dude. All right, hold on. Let's get in a better position here. All right, I'm going to take it over here, and I'm going to actually get back into the gunner spot. Here we go. Boom. Plunk the butt, and here we go. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, freaking sweet. All right, now to access the machine guns. I know you're ready for this, dudes. All right, access machine guns. You just want to stay in the gunner's spot, and you should have access to the machine guns here, which is the 240 right there. We're going to go ahead and equip that in both hands. One thing you will need, however, you will need the M62 Lynx. You want to go ahead and insert your bullets. The bullets you will need for this is 308 rounds. Go ahead and equip those if you have them or a box, whatever. Open it up. Insert those 40 bullets. It's going to be a bit. 
All right, once you're loaded up, you want to go ahead and highlight the 240 here. You want to go ahead and insert the magazine. Once the magazine is inserted, we're locked and loaded, boys. Here we go. Let's fire this baby up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, boys. That's all it had? What is this? Oh, did it jam? Maybe it jammed. Let's rack it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Keep them coming. Oh, yeah, full blast, dude. Boom, boom, boom. Frickin' sweet. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Just go ahead and use your right click and your left click will fire, as you see there. Oh yeah, love it dude. Come on over here zombie, I gotta talk to you. Oh yeah! Alright, under my personal opinion, I absolutely had a blast. Um, I do recommend it to any of those of you that like tanks and wouldn't mind them in your game. I do know it could put it on easy mode, but it is what it is. It is a mod. If you don't like it, just don't download it. I do think the driving is a lot easier in the first tank that I covered, so if you do want an easier time with driving, I do suggest that mod versus this one. However, the guns, I just can't get over it. I mean, I love loading the magazine, putting the magazine into the thing just to shoot the machine gun, freaking awesome, because the other one, you just instantly put the guns in your pants and you're ready to go. And loading the cannon is completely different too. You have to get into the loading position to put that into the breech, and then from the breech, then you go into the gunner seat, then the gunner seat, then you fire. So yeah, it's a lot more in depth and I appreciate that. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, go dragon smash that like button and subscribe. Become one with us dragons. And if you want more of these mods, I definitely suggest you hit that subscribe button. And I hope to catch you in the next freaking video. Goodbye for now.